guys welcome welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for clicking on this video if you're new to my channel make sure you're hitting that subscribe button to stay inspired to wise up and rise up above these narcissists so if you clicked on this video you want to know more about why won't they leave you alone why was why won't the narcissist leave you alone the reason why the narcissist will not leave you alone is because you got to understand they are all about control they will never leave you alone even if they have a new supply if you open up the only if you open up the door to allow them to come and still have access to you and use you they will use both y'all they will use the new supply and they will use you because you're giving them access to understand when the narcissist leaves you or walks out of your life and has a new supply and they still want access to you, you hold the power. You hold control. So are you going to allow them to use you and abuse you and still have their, 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 their new supply, right? Or are you going to just literally cut off, allow, cut off supply from them having access to you whenever they feel like it, right? At the end of the day, we hold the power, we hold the control to say when, are we, when is enough going to be enough because enough will never be enough for the supply, for, for the narcissist. They will continue to take supply whenever they feel like it. Um, remember this, like you are just an object to them. They don't hold emotional feelings like love, right, for anyone because at the end of the day that is a part of them that they have they have closed off and they don't want to feel right based off of their past traumas that they have had in their childhood so when you're there and you're thinking oh maybe if i still give access to them then they'll finally realize that they love me or they cared me for me all those are false stories that your ego is creating inside of your mind because your ego is trying to protect you from being hurt so it creates all these stories to give you reasons and why you are still reaching out or you still want to talk to them or they're still reaching out to you or they still want to talk to you in ways to protect you from not feeling pain, from not feeling hurt, not feeling used, not feeling abused, not feeling manipulated. Listen, at the end of the day, the only way that you can gain back your power and not allow them to keep using you over and over again is to stand in the facts to understand that they do not love. They're never going to have this aha moment of saying, oh, maybe she or he was the one and I was wrong. I messed up. Narcissists don't look inward. They don't look at the flaws or the wrongs that they do. They're always going to lead it to blame it onto you. That you were the issue. You were the problem. Or maybe the new supply was the, is the problem. The new supply is not giving them what they need. And this, 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 that. They're always going to take everything that's bothering them and look outward. Never inward. So if a person is never going to look inward, if a person is never going to look at you know, their wrongdoings or look in, in, into themselves, how can they, you know, how can they show you love? How can they tap into that love, right? They can't. So at the end of the day, they, when they keep coming back, it's not because they realized that they messed up with you. It's not because they realized, you know, you were better than the new supply. No, they're, they literally, either two reasons, they just still want to have access to you as a power trip to feed their ego, to see if they can still have access to you, or they genuinely, genuinely miss the supply and what you were giving them, which it, maybe it was sex, maybe it was money, maybe it was attention, whatever it is, right? And the new supply is not giving them exactly the same supply that you were giving them, right? So again, they want their cake and eat it too. If they can use, you know, and have the new supply and still have access to you, still have control over you, still be able to use you and have access over you, they will keep take, 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 taking from you and take, 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 taking from the new supply until one of you guys get fed up and one of you guys actually walk away, right? But what happens is that they're always left with another supply. This is why they always like to try to juggle both supplies so then if one 
wakes up and actually walks away and stops giving them supply, they still have access to another supply. Narcissists are always backing up their supplies to make sure that they're always gonna have a consistent feed of supplies. This is why a lot of times the narcissist cheats on you. It has nothing really to do with you, it has to do with them just making sure that they're always gonna have somebody there to feed their ego, to give them supply whenever they feel like it, right? So keep this in mind whenever the narcissist tries to come back around, is stand in the facts to understand they will never love you. It's They're not coming around because they miss you as a person they, they're, or they, they figured out that they love you. Listen, at the end of the day, they're just going to keep coming around to keep getting supply from you that's feeding their ego and feeding whatever it is that they need at that very moment, right? Remember, they look at you as like an object, not as a human being who has emotions and who has feelings. They don't care for all that. Because at the end of the day, they don't care for their own emotions and their own feelings, right? All they care is just their ego to be stroked. And as long as that ego is being fed, as long as that ego is being stroked, that's all that matters to them, right? And they will keep on take, take, taking if you keep allowing, allowing, allowing. So understand that in, re in reality, you have the power. You have the control to cut off that supply. You have the power to, you know, put your foot down and say, nah, I'm not going to let this person use and abuse me anymore. And yes, it hurts. And yes, it, it, it takes a lot of energy and time. And I always tell people healing is a journey, and, you know, not a destination. There's never going to be a set time. It's been two years for me now that I've been working on myself mentally and emotionally to really let my ex my ex go in understanding that he'll never he'll never feel for me the way that I feel for him and I still battle with those days where I'm thinking I'm just like yo does he miss me you know does he care about me I gave him everything like and I still battle with those days but I realized that that's just my ego my ego clinging on to false stories that are not even real and then I bring myself back to understanding the facts. The facts and what is real right now is that this person is a narcissist, has a personality disorder, and they don't know how to love. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't know how to love with me, and they're not going to know how to love with the new supply. So that person ain't getting no better than me. They're going to get exactly what I got, less to nothing. And if somebody else is happy to get less to nothing living living with a, a, a person who doesn't know how to love and will never love them hats off to the new supply good for them but I realized and you'll realize as well as you go on your healing journey that you are worth way more than what the narcissist could ever give you that you have everything that you want from that narcissist inside of you already that at the end of the day you don't need them to feel whole and complete. You don't need them to move on, to, to, to be happy and move on to a better life. You don't. At the end of the day, if you don't stand in the facts and knowing these things, you'll never be able to move on happily. The narcissist will always try to come around and take from you, steal your joy, steal your happiness, just so their ego will be fed. So the question is to ask yourself when the narcissist comes back around, do I really want to feed this person's ego? Do I really want to hurt myself all over again? Do I really want to go through, you know, beating myself up all over again, questioning my worth, questioning my value, questioning what this person's intentions is when you already know what their intentions is, all right? So stand in the facts, y'all. Don't open up back that door to that narcissist. You know what I mean? Like standing in the facts and knowing who they are, standing in the facts and knowing that who you are, right? And eat, taking one day at a time, living in the present moment, understanding that every day is a journey, that every day you're going to heal, you're going to get better, you're going to get stronger, and every day it's going to become easier and easier when you stand in the facts and understand who these people were to you, who they are, and who you are, all right? Thank you so much for tuning in this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, right? Leave me your comments. Let me know what your thoughts are about this video. If you're experiencing something similar, similar like this, let me know. Let me know if I can help you in any sort of way. Let's wise up and rise up above these narcissists. Make sure you're joining the Wise Up, Rise Up community today to stay inspired, to stay strong, to keep moving forward.
instead of moving backward with that narcissist. 